Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, we're going to line follow with our color sensor using reflected light, and we're also going to use the color sensor with color. You're going to have to check this out. So I've done a video before where you line follow using reflected light. I'm going to go ahead and do that again, but what we're going to do is compare that to a line follow where we're using color. And the track that I have is black and white, so we're just going to use black and white and we're going to see which one follows the line faster. So let's go check it out. Okay, so for today I'm just going to go ahead and do brick programs just so that it's simple and, you know, there's less variables to change the result for. So on this first one, you've seen this before. Um, the robot's going to make a right turn if it sees under 35% reflected light. It will then make a left turn if it sees over 50% reflected light, which is going to be the, the white. And it is looped. So let's take this to the track and let's watch it go around and we'll time it. Okay, so my robot's all set to go. Let's run it. seems to be going very slow. I don't know what that little hiccup was. Yeah, you're right. My uh, track has taken a beating. Look at that. Tears and rips. Gonna have to find a table to put this on, so... I run out of room and then I end up having to put this on the floor and then it gets all messed up. I would put it on here but we use this for FLL too so. And stop. Okay, so the uh, time for this brick program with the reflected light was 1 minute 24.90. So now we're going to go ahead and put the color sensor block on where we're, we're going to detect color and see if it's faster or slower. Okay, so I'm going to use the same program, but just change this now to... If it sees black, we are going to make a right turn. I'll go ahead and just delete this. And if it sees white, then it will make that left turn. And then I'll just delete that block. And it's still looped. So now let's take this over to the track and see how fast or slow this might be compared to the other program. Okay, my robot is all set up to go. Let's see if this uh, program is faster or slower than the one we just saw. By the sound of the motors, it's already seeming to be faster. And if you look at the color sensor, you'll notice before it was red and this time it is blue because it is trying to pick up color. But you guys already knew that, right? It's nearing the end here, and stop. 
Okay, on the program here that had the black and white in the program using the color sensor was 106.11. So the program with the um, using the black and white was faster. Um, no, not incredibly faster, but you know, um, maybe 18 seconds faster. So um, it's just one of those things where I was curious. I was like, hey, what if we did a line following just using black and white and would it be faster? So there you go. There you have the difference. Um, it still runs it. The you know colors are a little bit faster, but you can use either one um, in your programs. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.